Lithium ion batteries are an exciting new power storage technology for materials handling equipment. They offer a range of advantages to their users, including low maintenance and emissions free, fast, and flexible charging. One of the other main advantages is the ability to use opportunity charging to enable multiple shift truck usage without battery exchange and without negatively affecting the lifespan of the battery. At the beginning of the shift, both the lithium ion and lead acid truck start with a fully charged battery. With the lead acid truck, an area of the warehouse is dedicated as a battery room where batteries are swapped in and out of trucks and charged over a period of six to eight hours. Because lithium ion offers emissions free charging, it may be possible to charge the truck in a more flexible location. This can help to free up space in a warehouse to increase capacity. As both trucks begin their work for the day, you can see by the loads moved that so far they have similar productivity. You'll notice that the state of charge in the lithium ion battery is decreasing more quickly than the lead acid truck. This is because the lithium ion batteries tend to be smaller capacities than what would be needed with lead acid to help reduce purchase costs. As the operators go on their first break of the day, the trucks sit idle. This is where the lithium ion battery comes into its own. Although the state of charge is lower, the truck can be easily connected to a charger during the break to give the truck a boost of charge for the next part of the shift. The truck has a charge port mounted so that the operator can easily reach it when they get off the truck. With lithium ion battery technology, there is no adverse effect on battery life by using opportunity charging. The days of needing a lengthy full charge are in the past. The 20 minute top up charge during the coffee break has topped the lithium battery up to 80% for the next portion of the shift. While operators are off their trucks to refuel themselves, once again the lithium ion truck is connected to the charger for another boost of charge. A number of charger capacity options are available Charge times in the range of one to three hours can be possible. By the end of the shift, the lead acid battery is down to 20% state of charge, not enough to keep the truck powered for the second shift. At the three o'clock break between shifts, once again the lithium ion truck is connected to its charger for a quick boost. During the break, the lead acid truck is left parked while the second driver gets ready for their shift. Before the driver of the lead acid truck can begin their work, a fully charged battery is needed. So before beginning their day in the warehouse, the driver first needs to take the truck into the battery room and swap the battery in the truck for one which has been charging. All the while, the lithium ion truck, after its quick top up charge during the break, is continuing to work in the warehouse. Now the battery is swapped for a fully charged replacement in the lead acid truck, it can get back to work in the warehouse. In the second shift, the cycle repeats itself where the lithium ion truck is plugged into its charger for a quick boost of charge during the breaks in the shift. As the end of the working day approaches, both trucks begin to finish up their work for the day you can see the lithium ion truck using opportunity charging was able to move more loads over the day because of the time saved by not needing to complete battery exchange.